you're on a first date, like don't set yourself up for failure. Like order something that you know is not going to be messy, is not going to be a problem. Like don't be the guy who like orders chicken wings on a first date. Like that's horrible. Um, like I'm, we're not going to be talking after that. So just be smart in your decisions. You know what I mean though? Like, yeah. <laughs> Um, my least favorite interview question. I don't like anyone asking me about my dating life. Um, and especially too now since coming out, people are like, what boy are you into? I'm just like, uh, I'm just so grossed out by it. Um, and I would also say to, um, yeah, that one. Don't ask me about my dating life. I'm not going to tell you unless I want to. Okay. Actually, um, I would say... I don't necessarily think I missed anything. I actually think I um, sort of rediscovered my love for it. Um, and I really too, like when I was in uh, university, like I became a music fan again. I think for so long, I, you know, when you're an artist, it's very easy to like listen to music and you dissect it and you go to a show and you look at how they're performing, how the tech is operating, all those sorts of things. When I went to school, like I was just able to like put on a playlist and really enjoy what I was hearing. I went to shows like, multiple times throughout the week um, for two years with my friends and um, was just able to kind of fall in love with it. So I don't think there was anything really particular for my own career that I missed, um, but it was just cool that I kind of became a music fan again. And I think that inspired me a lot um, for this record. Ideal first date. I, I'm like classic, I would say dinner. I think like that's a good way um, to get to know someone and also to determine if they're like a adequate eater. I like can't stand people that like can't eat food. Um, that's a massive red flag. I'd also say a concert I think is a good first date if you like do something before. So if you like grab drinks or food before because um, you can kind of see how someone interacts with music because um, I wouldn't need someone. I wouldn't want to see them move a bit and if they were just super still at a show I'd be like cut. I can't do this. And also too if you're on a first date like don't set yourself up for failure. Like order something that you know is not going to be messy, is not going to be a problem. Like, don't be the guy who like orders chicken wings on a first date. Like, that's horrible. Um, like, I'm, we're not going to be talking after that. So just be smart in your decisions. You know what I mean though? Like, yeah, 100%. Um, and I've been saying that a lot um, in interviews. I think it's not that I am, you know, ashamed or like regret the work of my past. I'm really, really proud of it. Um, but I was also 14 uh, when that record came out. I didn't really um, have too much of a creative say in it either. And, and the music since then, there are some releases that were really true and authentic, but um, Portraits is just a debut of who I am now as a writer and as an artist. So um, yeah, I love my old record, but um, this one's a lot better and a lot more me for sure. My spirit animal is definitely a lion um, because I'm a very proud Leo um, and I embody my zodiac sign. And, literally every way. Um, so yeah, my friends and I always joke about it. We'll watch like Nat Geo documentaries and we'll like really focus in, on the lion parts and we're like, oh, we can like see personality traits and it's, it's so not true, but I'm definitely a lion. Does that affect your friendship with other people if you find out they're like Scorpio or whatever? Does that like kind of subconsciously <laughs> 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 So here's the thing with the zodiac sign, like, um, or just like astrology in general. I don't really believe in it, but I totally believe in it. Um, I there are a few signs that I've had some bad experiences with, um, but I don't like to typecast people because that's not fair. Um, but like <laughs> Virgos, but um, it's yeah, you know, and I don't really buy that much into it. Or maybe I had a few X's. <laughs> Probably like some trash pair of overalls um, from Oklahoma and then I think like a Harley Davidson tank top. If you've ever seen the first season of True Detective, Matthew McConaughey is like his style and like who he is in that season. Without like the obsessive drinking and like all the bad things, like that's, that's my style icon for sure. Hey everyone, this is Grayson Chance. You're tuned in to Ones to Watch, and that was my quick six.